custom gold top strap. Still needs a lot of work, but I'm going to show you how I got it up to this point. All right, let's take a look. Okay, here we go. Super light on the first coat. I already love it. So far, so good. Metallic gold. There's a lot of figuring in this neck, but I dyed the wood yellow a long time ago, so I'm just trying to get some of this last bit of yellow out so it looks even. Lemon oil. So these old tuners were on a different guitar, but I ended up just having them lying around because I replaced them on that guitar. So they look really cool and they're going to match with the gold, but I might end up replacing them sometime, but for now they're going to look really cool. There's a lot of ways to get these off, but I can just pop these ones off with my fingers. You just gotta grab it evenly on all sides. If you have a knob that doesn't want to stay on, you can spread the tangs a little bit with the screwdriver, but be really careful. And don't do it on anything really nice or vintage. So as far as this pick guard goes, it used to be for three single coil pickups. You can see that's where the old screw was for that third single coil right there. And I just cut it out with a soldering iron and just kind of sanded it. And then this lipstick pickup was extra and it wouldn't quite fit, it was too wide. So I had to cut out a little bit more on the sides there you can see everything just kind of works the same on the switch overall this is a pretty badass setup with the two humbuckers just checking on the body i'm just going to take a close look for any parts i might have missed because i don't want to go too crazy i already put several coats on this thing one thing about <clears throat> having a wider pickup in the middle is that I'll actually have to widen the pickup cavity just a little bit. So I'm gonna get the drill out. So here I'm realizing that the humbuckers aren't going to fit either, so I have to drill that out too. The never-ending can of polyurethane. Remember to stir it. Don't shake it up or you're gonna get bubbles. You don't want bubbles. I prefer to use the spray, but I just need to protect this. But I want to keep the satin look to it. It kind of has that gold, metallic gold look to it. I sort of don't like polyurethane because like, it feels like the paint is sort of soft. But maybe I've put too much on before. Yeah, I've got all the pieces in place and I'm ready to wire this thing up. This tang is attached to this one. 
this is the same piece and this is the one that touches the tip so that's where you want your hot wire to go is to the tip All right, I got a problem. I'm gonna have to open this back up and route out some more space so I can drop this pickup down farther or else I'm gonna have some pretty bad action. Also, I plugged it in and this pickup is not working. So, we're gonna have some more work to do. This right here, it just goes out too far. I gotta cut some more of this out. I'm just trying to figure out where this goes and it goes on here so I gotta resolder that. It's done, it looks great, it sounds great, but stick around for part two where I'm gonna do a full setup and demo and review. So, thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.